There's a lot to consider when managing sheep and goats. Hoof health and more specifically hoof trimming cannot be overlooked. There are a couple of factors that affect the need to trim hoofs. One would be genetics, so the breed that you're working with and also particular individuals may need hoof trimming more than others. Also consider the environment, such as the soil moisture, housing and diet of the particular animals. So why do we trim hooves? So we wanna encourage proper hoof growth. We also want to open up the hoof so the air can, can circulate within that hoof to reduce any kind of bacteria growth. We wanna prevent lameness, and we also wanna create a flat sole for that animal uh, so that they're able to walk around more comfortably and to reduce any type of infection. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about the equipment needed for hoof trimming. First of all, you wanna make sure you have some hoof trimmers or some shears. I personally like the ones with the shorter blades. I feel like they're easier to maneuver around the hoof, but there's all different types out there that you can get a hold of. Then uh, you wanna make sure that you have disinfectant for cleaning your equipment in between animals. And just in case you um, happen to quick an animal, you wanna make sure you have a blood stop powder on hand. And when it comes to restraining the animals, there are several different things that you can, um, that you can get to help you do that. One would be a stand. Um, another might be a tilt table or a chair if you have sheep. Um, and then if you don't have any of those equipment, um, you can also just do this with a halter, uh, putting it on the animal and tying the animal to a sturdy gate. Or if you have sheep, you can roll them on their dock to restrain them for hoof trimming. The first thing I like to do is clean out any manure or dirt. You can take your trimmers and do that just very carefully. And if the hoof is, is hard, um, if it hasn't rained in a while, you can definitely uh, spray the hoof with water or a disinfectant to get it nice and soft so you can get started. Next thing I like to do is work on the excess hoof growth along the hoof wall here. So you can see this hoof wall had kind of grown over. So I'm gonna start there and kind of get that trimmed off. So you can see that white line, that's your hoof wall. And our goal here today with hoof trimming is to get this hoof uh, get each of these claws even um, and then even to the floor, flat to the floor, okay? So we're gonna work around the hoof wall here. And if you start to see um, pink, you know, just look out for it because you could be, um, you could quick them and they could bleed. So make sure you have blood stop on hand. So nice, just nice and gentle, slow, take off small amounts um, until you have gotten their hoof trim. I always like to kind of, if there's excess toe, take a little bit off of the toe, not much. Again, you want to continue to dig that manure out so you can kind of see where you're at. And you may need to trim up the sole a little bit. So on this girl, we definitely need to trim it up just a little bit. Okay, so how you know that you're done at this point is that when you run your hand across, everything is nice and flat and level. You don't see, you can see the, the hoof wall has been trimmed back. There's no excess growth on those toes. The heel's nice and flat, the sole's nice and flat. And I like for them to be even and match as much as possible. So this is about as good as we can do today on this hoof. So next time you're out around your sheep and goats, don't forget to look down and evaluate their hooves because they might need to be trimmed.